Hey you guys, today we are making sourdough ciabatta rolls. So get your ingredients together. This recipe is so easy, you guys, you're gonna love it. We're gonna start out by mixing our water and our sourdough starter together in a bowl. I really like to mix the wet ingredients together when I'm making sourdough because I feel like it just kind of helps that sourdough starter to get more evenly distributed into the dough. So once you have that together, just use a little spatula and stir that up. Next, we are going to add some salt and we're gonna use some bread flour. Now you can use all purpose if you, if that's all you have, but bread flour has a little bit higher gluten content or protein content in it. And so that is gonna help give us the gluten development for this big, large open crumb that we want in a sour dough ciabatta roll. Use a spatula to get this mixture started because it is very sticky. And then once you can't mix anymore, switch over to your hand and then just mix it until there are no dry bits left in the bowl. Now you're gonna want to cover it and let it sit on the counter for an hour to rest. Then we are going to do three sets of stretches and folds. Now this first set, use some water to wet your hand because the dough is gonna be very sticky and just pick it up on one side, stretch it up and over itself. And you're gonna to continue to do that until that bowl has come full, full circle this first set, the dough is going to be very sticky and you'll see over the next couple of sets how the texture of the dough changes. So cover the bowl and let it sit there for 30 minutes. When that time's up, you're going to start your second set of stretches and folds. Again, use some water to wet your hands so the dough doesn't stick. And you want to just pull that dough up until it starts to kind of want to spring back. You don't want to force it, just kind of gently pull it and fold it over. And once you have finished turning that bowl all the way around, you'll want to cover it again for another 30 minutes. And then it will be time to do the final set of stretches and folds. So we're just going to repeat this process and you guys, this is my favorite part of the sourdough baking process. I love to stretch and fold dough. It's so satisfying. And every time you do this, you can just see how it changes the texture of the dough and just helps with that gluten development. And look, it's just nice and springy. So now we're gonna cover this and we're gonna let this sit for a couple of hours or until it's risen by about 50%. Now you have two choices after it's risen. You can either put this dough in the fridge and let it sit in there for up to 36 hours before you divide it and bake it, or you can go ahead and bake it the same day. So whichever one of those you choose when you're ready to, to, to go ahead and divide it, you're gonna want to flour the surface of your dough and your work surface pretty well because this is a very high hydration dough which means it has a lot of moisture, which means it's gonna be sticky. Now, if your dough is in the fridge and it's cold, it's much easier to work with because it firms the dough up. But either way, you're going to turn the dough out onto your work surface and then go ahead and put like, you know, a little bit more flour on the surface of that dough. And this is kind of one of my favorite parts about ciabatta bread rolls is that there's like no shaping involved. You're literally going to kind of press this out into a rectangular shape and then you're going to use either a knife or a bench scraper. I love my bench scraper. If you do sourdough, you really need to get a bench scraper. They are like the best. And you're just gonna use that to cut this dough into eight pieces. So I like to cut the dough in half and then I will cut each one of those pieces in half and then again, and that will give you eight different pieces. Now, watch what I do. To, to make the ciabatta roll, all you do is cut the dough like this, and then see that square? I'm just gonna lay it on to the parchment lined baking sheet. That's it, that's all that you have to do. So once I have everything kind of cut out, 
put it on the baking sheet, sprinkle it with a little flour, and then cover it with a tea towel. Let those rise for a couple of hours until they are puffy. You're gonna bake these at 475 Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. You're gonna lower that oven temperature down to 425 and then bake them an additional 20 minutes or until they're golden like this. And that's it, you guys. Just let them cool for about 30 minutes. And when you slice them open, you're going to have the most amazing sourdough ciabatta bread.